Well, it's the Halloween season, and with that, it means we're going to be doing Halloween editions of certain shows we're doing. Thus is the case of this show, as we dive deeper into the world of your second favorite trapeze artist in the DC Comics universe, Dead Man. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to the Batmanning of. This is the show where we take a character in the DC Universe. We make a movie similar to the Batman. This has pretty much just become a way for me to pitch Warner Brothers on movies I want to make. That's what we're doing here. And it's the holiday season for Halloween, so we're doing Dead Man, a character I didn't think we'd get to this early. Solely because he's not a character that has that much to go from. It's a simple concept with a simple history, and he is very much a supporting character. But just coming up with characters that we could talk about for a Halloween edition, I kind of landed on this guy because I think he represents all of the really good aspects of the DC Universe. He can be funny and silly. He could be intense and gripping. You can get a really good actor in there to do something fun. And it allows you to explore a lot of different areas. You know, you could go at pretty much any route you want to with the Dead Man character. And there's always something to explore and to have fun with and to enjoy it. And that's like a really cool thing you don't get a lot of with this type of DC universe. Just a really bizarre, weird character who is kind of fun. You know, I've always liked Dead Man. He's never been a character who I think permeated the popular culture in like a big way. The other characters around him, I think they have more impact like Zatanna and Constantine and Swamp Thing, and I think even Etrigan has a little more impact than Dead Man, but there's something about that character that does endure, you know, when he pops up, you're never upset, when you look at him, you're never like, oh man, this is stupid and lame, it's Dead Man, he can inhabit other people's bodies like a ghost, and you're like, that's kind of cool, he's kind of got a snarky attitude, and that's kind of fun, there's something to explore there, and did any writer really do it besides Neil Adams, not, maybe not, but... It's still a cool, you know, having him show up, there's some stuff to play with. Nobody really does it, but he's still a cool character, right? Is he cool? Like, I don't hate him. Dead Man again. I listed a bunch of characters I like more than Dead Man, but I've never been off-put by a Dead Man appearance where I'm like, ugh, this destroys the flow of a book. This sucks. He does kind of fit into that he can be anywhere, everywhere, all at once kind of vibe, where it's like, he can do the magic stuff, the more action-oriented stuff. That's always fun to see. You kind of get his like grubby little hands in every single area. Current appearances I've read with him are have been in Wonder Woman, and like that's a pairing you wouldn't really imagine, but him in a Wonder Woman book, sure. You don't get thrown off by it. It all works, you know? Just a character like that all works, an iconic design for the most part, and there's not much you really have to hide, you know? Just do whatever you want with a dead man story because it's not a character with longevity that people have feelings on. Not any ongoing books to really discuss, just a couple of appearances, a couple of minis that are pretty interesting. Just that character that's kind of there, that has the potential to be a big concept to explore in an atmosphere like that. So that's what we're here to do today, give you an atmosphere for Dead Man. And if I'm being honest, I, I don't really know where you should start reading a Dead Man character. Justice League Dark, he makes some appearances, just those kind of stories, anything magic-based where he appears. He did have a miniseries, Neil Adams. It was pretty interesting. I wouldn't say it's great, but it was a definitely a fun read that I enjoyed. The character is just bizarre enough where you could do whatever you want with them, and I don't think anybody would be upset. But there is fans of the character, so you can't get too crazy. <laughs> I don't know. It's just like an enigma thing where it's like you could potentially do whatever you want, but doing whatever you want kind of defeats the purpose of the character's very specific reasoning. So it's a niche thing. And that is somehow fun and somehow complicated. And again, I don't really know what else I could say on him. He's awesome. He's just kind of there sometimes. It's Dead Man. He's just like a zombie ghost guy. It's kind of fun. You know, my personal connection, like I've been saying, I don't really have one. He is sometimes just the guy that's there, does his thing, has something to say. Interpretations can vary, but uh, more often than not, just kind of need someone for exposition or be like the middleman between worlds, get him and the specter in there. That's what you do. <laughs> 
And because of that, you're, you're not going to believe this, folks. This character has not had any live-action appearances worth a damn. And I get it, because it's kind of like, how far off the beaten path do you go for non-comic book readers? You could understand Zatanna, where they're like, this is just a magic girl. Constantine, he's a smoking magic guy. This is a guy with an indistinguishable accent that is certainly of a specific time, who is connected to a mythology that doesn't work for him, or he's not a part of, and... He can jump into people's bodies, but they can't see him, and they just hear him, and you're like, who can find it? It's, it's like, something there is interesting. So, I wanted to make a movie on that. I really don't know what else I can say. Let's take the ghostly man of the DC universe and put him into his own movie with something to do. Need I say more? Do I have to say more? It's dead man. You either know him enough, like him enough... Or you've never heard of this character, so I'm going to pitch you a movie for Dead Man. And honestly, more than any other character that I've talked about in the Batmaning of, I think Dead Man needs to be an origin story. Because it's just off the beaten path to the point where the casual fan cannot buy into what you're doing right away. So, the Dead Man movie is an origin story. And what is that origin story? Well... Boston Brand is this trapeze artist, one of the best in the business, who is murdered. And his soul is taken by the goddess Ramna Kushna. And it's like, hey, you can now become an entity, travel the world, solve your problem. So that is what my story is. When we talk about the Batman, it is Chinatown. When I'm talking about what I want to do for this kind of dead man story, I was really like, as much as I don't enjoy what those movies are, I think this should be like an everyman John Wick thing. We are seeing this man on revenge to get revenge. He's angry, he's gruff, he is pretty much just kept alive by rage, and the spirit's just like, hey, go avenge yourself. I can keep your spirit here between worlds. If you need to avenge yourself, you can. And that's what it is. It's a revenge story where Boston Brand takes control, quantum leaping, if you will, through different people's bodies, trying to find the person that killed him. All the while, we are seeing the man, Boston Brand, but the real world is seeing these different people attacking this person for no particular reason. They don't know what it is. They don't know that Boston Brand's coming after them. It's just a zombie revenge story. You know, this man between two worlds quantum leaping his way through John Wick's to get at this dude. You could have other people cameo in it as people he takes control of. And that's the Dead Man movie. <laughs> Just this angry guy who's kind of fun, kind of creative, kind of doing his own thing. Suddenly wants to get revenge on his death. It's very personal, intimate. You don't have to tie into the larger world of himself or anybody else. Here's this guy. His spirit is angry enough where Ramakush is like, we're not sending you away. You want to get revenge? Go do it, champ. Revenge story, Quantum Leaping and John Wicks. That's all you need to do. I don't know what else I can say for that because that's the character. That's the story. A ghost getting revenge. That's the Dead Man movie. And I know what you're thinking. There are so many choices you could get for this actor. You have to find somebody who, one, could commit to the bit, is willing to dress their face up a bit and be kind of different. So I wanted to find an actor I, I could really see pulling off the physicality for this and I chose somebody who's kind of not really a rising star but reaching new heights with certain projects they're on Eben Moss Bachrock who starred in The Bear and is currently on Andor I love his work I think he's really committed to the bit and he could definitely take charge of this type of movie in that type of situation really find something to play with and do in there that's a little more aggressive than you would want from a lead but that's what Boston is he's kind of a more of an aggressive guy so that's what you need and when you have a guy like Eben in there you can do something fun he also looks the part tall lanky guy not even that tall, but just like a bigger, like a lankier dude with the body like that. You paint him up in this white makeup with the big collar. That is your dead man. And when you have dead man, you got to find the right director. And there's been a lot of cool guys. And I want to lean into like this horror side of things while still being like this action-y picture. And there was this one that came out this year called Prey. So I want Dan Trachtenberg to come over to the DC Universe and give us a really cool, really special dead man film. It's a bunch of great talents coming together for a revenge flick. What could go wrong? Taking a character that is so unpopular to the cultural zeitgeist that we can bring him into a John Wick style 
in that essence. So, happy Halloween, everyone. That's all I have for Dead Man. A shorter video for this Batmaning of, but one nonetheless, I think, holds weight and it's definitely something people could get into. Yeah, Dead Man. Not much to say, but hey, I don't really know what other you know, horror character I could have put in this situation that is as cool and allows me to talk about Evan Moss Bach Rock a little bit, you know? It's awesome. So, thank you guys for watching this episode of the Batmaning of. If you have any characters you'd like to see me talk about, please let me know. And if you like this pitch, please let me know. Let's try to get this one made, because it would be pretty sweet. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. As always, you can check me out on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And as always, I will check you out in the next one. Have fun, stay safe, good luck.